Okay, fifth graders, today we're doing module four, lesson 15, and we're continuing on in our quest to multiply fractions. First, we started by multiplying unit fraction by unit fraction, then we did unit fraction by non-unit fraction, and today we're going to do non-unit fraction by non-unit fraction, okay? Which means by the end of today, you should be able to multiply all kinds of fractions, no matter what the numerator is. We're going to still be using our trustee strategy of using our rectangular fraction models, okay? But first, let's talk about the problem of the day. Today, as promised, we are going to be multiplying non-unit fractions by non-unit fractions, okay? Here we have two-thirds of three-fourths. We know that in math, this is equal to two-thirds times three-fourths. So when I'm finding two-thirds of three-fourths, I'm really multiplying two-thirds and three-fourths, okay? We're going to do the numbers way later. But let's first draw a picture. We have to show that our rectangular fraction model, the entire rectangle, is worth one whole. And we're not starting out with the whole one. We're starting out with three-fourths. So go ahead and mark off three-fourths. Then we know we want to find two-thirds of those three-fourths. So I'm going to split it up into thirds. And we want to show two of those thirds. I'm going to label it as such, two-thirds. Okay. Now we can see that our entire rectangular fraction model has divide, been divided up into 12 equal sections and six of those sections are shaded in. So therefore, two-thirds of three-fourths is equal to six-twelfths, which is one-half. Okay. Remember that when you shade it in, you're shading in two-thirds of the entire three-fourths, not just two boxes. If I had only shaded in one box and two boxes, that would not be two-thirds of my entire three-fourths. Maham, can you explain why? Six of them. Yeah. Very good. Okay. Let's try using numbers to see how it works. If I do two thirds times three fourths, that's the same as two times three, all over three times four. Right away, I can see that I have some common factors. I have a three in the top and three in the bottom, which means I could divide that fraction by three over three. When I divide three by three, I get one. And when I divide three by three, I also get one. I also see that two and four have common factors because they're both divisible by two. This means I could divide it by two over two. When I divide two by two, I get one. When I divide four by two, I get two. So really, this is one times one over one times two, which, of course, is one half. Okay, so we get the same answer whether we use a picture or we use numbers. For this example, we're multiplying two-thirds times two-thirds. That's the same as finding two-thirds of two-thirds. So here in my rectangular fraction model, I have two-thirds, but I don't want all of those two-thirds. I only want two-thirds of those two-thirds. So what I have to do is I have to divide my two-thirds into thirds, and here's one-third of my two-thirds, and here's two-thirds of my two-thirds. I'm going to mark that that's two-thirds. Okay. It's kind of like when we were doing multiplication. If I was multiplying two-thirds times two-thirds, here it is, two-thirds times two-thirds. It's like using an area model, kind of, okay? Okay, so then now my entire square, my entire rectangular fraction model has been divided up into how many sections? Nine. Nine. And how many of them have two, have been shaded in twice? Four. So my answer is? Four. Four ninths. Let's use numbers to prove it to ourselves. If we have two-thirds times two-thirds in the numerators, that's two times two. And in the denominators, we have 3 times 3, which, of course, is 4 ninths. The same answer using numbers and pictures. So in this tape diagram, this is the part that we're trying to figure out. It's 3 fourths of some amount, 3 fourths of this part right here. So it's 3 fourths of? Four seconds. Very good. Once you get to this part, once you know that you're trying to find three-fourths of four-sevenths, it's super easy, right? You can draw a picture and you can multiply. The hardest part is figuring out how to get from the word problem to three-fourths of four-sevenths. So I want you to talk to a person next to you and explain how did we figure out that the math equation we're doing is three-fourths of four-sevenths. 